Yes, that's me. No, not the fruit of Einstein's loins. I'm the one in the back, the handsome one. My education ended faster than my family wished, but it still lasted too long for my taste. What I got out of college was mostly furniture for my cluttered apartment. Well, and acquaintances for life. I had already resigned myself to being back under my mother's wing when I received a letter from California. It smelled of hops and dirty rag and evoked a vague memory of a lost tradition. The letter was written by my grandpa's lawyer. The old guy died alone, which is not surprising because his only love was brewing beer. He even claimed that our family came from a long line of master brewers from Europe, something like Assassin's Mead. So, get this. My grandpa left me in charge of his bar. And let me tell you, this could be my big break. I'll pay off my family and prove to them who deserves to be called the beer king of California. But I think I'll start by some hard cleaning and scraping the mold off the ceiling. If my watch is running well, you should have just arrived at our beautiful town. Lucky for you, the brew pub is located across the street. Without further ado, my name is Harvey, and I am your family's lawyer. Your grandfather transferred this beautiful bar to you. However, there's one catch. Your grandfather wrote a list of requirements that you must fulfill in order to fully own the bar. After completing a specific requirement, I will get in touch with you and give you instructions for the next task. Okay, let's start from the top of the list. Get the bar ready to open. Don't worry, I'm sure that when you enter the venue, your brewing inner sense inherited from your grandfather will jumpstart and you will know what to do. Brewing inner sense, you say? I see I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Let's take a closer look. Ah, the glamorous life of a bartender. Picking up trash. At least I'm not picking up my ex's broken dreams. Trash taken out. Time to start cleaning the dirt. By the lords of food poisoning and cat piss, I have the sweeping power. Grandpa always used to say that the bar is like a canvas, and I don't remember the rest, but maybe he meant painting the walls. Finally, a chance to express my artistic vision. Let's hope...
I forgot to tell you, I received a package for you. There should be some useful things in there. Thanks to our regional ninja couriers, the package should already be with you. What do we have here? Perfect. Exactly what I need right now. Naming a bar is like naming a child. You want it to be unique, memorable, and not end up in therapy. I just remembered something. Recently, an old friend of your grandpa's brought some beer to the brewery for him to try. Prove your worth as a brewer by selling this beer down to the very last drop. Free beer? Ready to serve? How suspiciously convenient. Okay, I have the beer. Now I just need to hook it up to the tap. Done. Now something tells me that I should add the beer to the menu. Otherwise, customers won't know what's on offer. That should do it. Okay, I have the beer, but I still need something to serve it in. Pouring beer directly into mouths is not an option. At least not until spring break. <laughs> Get ready, folks. The party's about to start. Or, to be specific, a seven-hour shift. Close enough. Looks like it's gonna be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. Okay, take the glass, pour the beer, and serve it to the customer. What? Darn. I definitely need to clean this
Looks like it's gonna be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. The keg is empty. I think the customers will understand if I close the place a little earlier. I heard that the bar is inviting customers again for a good old pint. That means you completed the first challenge from the old man. You've proven that you have a good head on your shoulders. We can move on to the next challenge on the list. All right, so what's next? Hey, you, come here. I've been watching you since you arrived. I see potential in you. I left something for you in the parcel locker. You'll figure out the rest on your own. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Okay, that was... something.
You know, I'm something of a brewer myself. I can assess the potential of beer and the brewer just by smelling. I think you can even make some money from this beer. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. I believe this guy has some backstory. Anyway, the beer is ready. I need to transfer it to the keg, connect it, add it to the menu, and people will be able to taste the fruits of my labor. Time for the next stage of your training. Freestyle. You only live once, so why not try adding some flavor to the beer? I left something for you in the parcel locker. Add this ingredient right after the beer has cooled down. The outcome may surprise you. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Okay, now just a little bit of patience. I should probably focus on managing my establishment while waiting for the beer to mature.
Hope my craft beer creation will be enough. Collaborating with the mayor could be an opportunity for the development of my business. Looks like it's gonna be a busy night. Better brace yourself for the beer tsunami. Only fools chase their dreams. That's what they told my grandpa. That's what they're telling me. But brewing isn't just about making it big. Brewing is about art. It's about your own recipes, hand-picked ingredients. It's about the atmosphere you make. <sighs> if only you'd insure the bar, Grandpa. But don't worry, I'll manage. I'll do it for you. And I'll have fun along the way. <laughs> 